it's my pleasure to be here today, officially to open the Musket Cove's Trader House. And uh, for a little history on this particular place, the exotic Musket Cove Resort was built by Richard, also known as Dick Smith, in 1976. And 10 years after he built and operated Fiji's first island resort, Castaway, for those of you that are not familiar with it. Dick Smith was fondly known as the pioneer of, or the father of the Fijian tourism industry, because he had the vision of developing cruising and yachting as a key component of tourism. And Muscat Cove has always been a destination for yachts, long before the segment was actually developed in Fiji. Today I'm proud to be here and to see Josephine and her family continuing Dick's legacy and taking his dream to new heights. Ladies and gentlemen, Muscat Cove features a, a diverse range of accommodation choices with about 55 odd bourrees villas and a, a marina and boat harbour and a day spa and a supermarket and beach bar and restaurant and yacht club. The only thing missing is a casino, I think. And employs around 150 employees. The guests not only enjoy the islands, uh, white sandy beaches and the walking trails and the snorkeling and diving and many different water sports, but can also visit the organic farm, which supplies about 40% of the resort's produce needs and enjoy the lovely Fijian food made from Fijian grown produce. The opening of Musket Cove's uh, newest addition, the Trader General Store Boutique Cafe, is uh, approximately $5 million Fijian investment into the Fijian economy by a domestic investor. And investments or, and or reinvestments by domestic investors account for approximately 5-6% to 6 of the GDP. And in fact, the, statistics, the statistics indicate um, that two-thirds of all private investments is reinvestment by existing investors like you, Josie. I believe the boutique will retail uh, various different products, uh, but more importantly, it will include Fijian crafts and arts in coming months. And guests at the Musket Cove uh, will be able to identify Fijian craft without any doubt as to the authentic Fijian crafts. The Fijian crafted brand, ladies and gentlemen, is designed to differentiate our genuine Fijian crafts from the generic island style products imported from overseas. Non-genuine products have been displacing our traditional and genuine arts at the cost of our nation. However, the Bainimarama government has changed this by focusing on genuine Fijian crafts and arts. Therefore, it is important for resorts and hotels, stores and boutiques to sell crafts that bear the Fijian crafted logo. You need to partner with the Fijian government and the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism on this campaign to take this brand to our visitors. And whilst you are giving your guests a new shopping experience in this amazing structure, from the open spaces of the arrival pavilion and the free-flowing boutique and gift shop, we want the experience to be enhanced when they purchase a genuine Fijian craft or piece of art. This is my challenge to you, Josie. Your contribution and commitment to the Fijian economy are vital also in creating wealth and developing the nation that we all love. And the Fijian government will continue to support new development initiatives which showcase and promote Fiji as a true holiday paradise and enable tourism industry to create more economic activity and employment for all Fijians. Ladies and gentlemen, just uh, something personal. I'm, I am quite well known to the family. And Josie, <clears throat> I know what it's like when you're left behind with a legacy. And I take my hat off to you. You have done extremely well to you and to your family. And um, ladies and gentlemen, I must say it's a big, huge congratulations to Josie and her family. And it's my pleasure now to declare the Trader General Sport, uh, Trader General Sport Boutique Cafe open. Thank you very much. for